this is a project a lot of people, uh, not a lot, um, a few, uh, a few is probably not even accurate either. Some people, uh, okay, a couple have been asking for. Hi everyone, welcome back to the City Aperture channel. My name is Jose and I go by City Aperture. Uh, and we're back, well I guess we are back last week, but that was more of an update, so I don't really count it. We're back with a project. Um, and this is a project a lot of people, uh, um, a couple of people have asked for this, yes. That's accurate. Um, it's the end of Mode's house, right? We started it, a, I don't know how long ago that was, probably at least a year and a half. I don't know. We started a while back. Um, and uh, I did sort of a sketch plan and some sketched elevations of what I could tell from the house from watching the movies, right? The Incredibles, obviously the Incredibles movie. If you haven't watched Incredibles 1, Incredibles 2, fantastic movies, you should go watch those. Um, so I, I had planned it, and I'm looking at the drawing right there, that's so why I keep looking up that way. I basically did a rough floor plan that didn't have any rooms defined, but I also did the elevations of the exterior. Um, the reason I've been hesitant to keep going with this project is it's hard to find, <laughs> you know, when we did The Incredibles House, and I'll put a link to that whole series when I went through and drew the plan for The Incredibles House, then did the entire model, I even 3D printed the house I have, I have it right here, actually here's the, the little 3D print from The Incredibles House, let's go if we can get it, um, but anyways, when I did The Incredibles House, there was so much information. They spent so much time inside that house in the movies that it was sort of, it wasn't easy, but there was enough information to sort of figure out the entire plan of the house. And even then, I'm not convinced I got it 100% right. After that, I got a, a message from somebody saying, you know, there's a basement to the house, which I never drew. One of the days I may have to go back to it. Um, and that showed up in one of the shorts, which I had never seen. Uh, anyways, with the Endemo's house, though, I even have the book, and I don't have it here anywhere, but I, I've even gotten the books, and there's just not a ton of information where we can figure out, like, we don't know how many bedrooms there are. We don't know exactly where the kitchen is. Okay, there's a scene that takes place in the kitchen, but it's very difficult to tell where that kitchen is in the house. Um, that's why there's a lot of unknowns, right? It, we know she has her workshop, which... I've always assumed this in a basement plan, or in a basement of the house, because at one point we see her going down steps with uh, with Miss Incredible, um, Elastigirl, uh, to get to the shop. But like, we don't know where those steps are. We there's just so much unknown. I'm hoping they make a third movie where maybe they spend a little more time in that house, because uh, it's such an amazing house. At least I think it's an amazing house. So that's why I'm being hesitant because I can't really figure out the entire plan. But that's not fair to you guys because there's still things I can do. What I'm going to do is focus on the main living room because we really know a lot about that and the exterior of the house. So this introduction has gone on for way too long already. But what you're going to see is we're going to draw up the floor plans as we can and we're going to work on the exterior of the house. And at the end, I'm going to do even a three-dimensional drawing of the house. So let's do what we can. And let's jump in, and I'll see you guys after. I'm going to try and cut this down because it's too long. So just like when we started with the drawing I had done, which is up here at the end, I'm going to do the grid because the grid is what let me figure everything out. I'm going to go with a six-foot grid because I feel like that's the width of the door that would lead up to the patio. I'm also going to add some walls while I'm at it, so I'll add the walls that I know.
So now that I've added a lot of the walls and mullions and in the grid, I'm going to add the steps that lead down into the living room. That's going to be the next thing here. So I'm not 100% happy with how the steps are interacting with the glass on the side. I'm looking here at the photos. Uh, that's not it. Here you see one of the chairs and the coffee table. And there's not a ton of room at the top. And you can see the four chairs and the big round coffee table. I just think I have to make some adjustments. It's just, I think there's not enough room at the bottom and not enough room at the top. So I'm going to fix that. Here you can see where I've jumped a little bit and I've added the furniture down, I've adjusted everything, I think I'm happy with it. But I'm going to do now is down here at the end of the hallway, I'm going to work on this part where the door comes in. So now I'm fairly happy with how the living room's looking and the steps and the entrance. But I work now as the steps going up to the second floor. Let me pull up the photo here. These glass steps are here that she's stepping on in this photo. Uh, I have some more of the fillet. There, there's a landing at the top. Um, so I'm going to draw those in. I think I may have to draw a quick section to see what that looks like. Um, just as you know, the steps.
so everything's cleaned up now here you can see the floor plan doesn't look like there's much but we know where the entrance is we know where the living room are the steps going down to it the steps going up to the second floor i think the kitchen's in this level but it's hard to tell we'll get into the kitchen in a little bit uh, after we looked at all the floor plans so far and you can see the patio the big pool and patio here's the second floor and again not a lot going on the bedrooms are obviously up here somewhere but it's hard to tell there's an area that overlooks with glass and the steps going up to the second floor and then let's look at the elevations. Here you can see one of the elevations uh, side, and then we're going to scroll down to the front elevation. Uh, you know, we've kind of seen all this before, but now it's more hard line. And let's finally do a comparison between the two houses. So here you see the Incredibles house on the right, and then Edna Mode's ground floor, which you can see she's got almost twice the footprint of the Incredibles house. Now we're going to get into the kitchen. So here you can see the kitchen. The way I'm going to tell the title of the kitchen is by this cabinet at the top. There's eight 24-inch cabinets. And we're going to use that to dry. I think this is where the kitchen would be. But it's hard to tell just from what we've seen. So let's just get to drawing it here. So here's the layout of the kitchen. You got the two refrigerators on the one side, and then the sink here. Dishwasher's gotta be next to the sink. I don't know that for a fact, but that's what it should be. You've got the oven and this shelf that are on that side. And you have the island with some cabinets underneath here. You can see there's the refrigerator, sink, dishwasher, shelf, oven on that side. The cabinet at the top helped the island. You can see with some overhang on each side. Uh, that's pretty much all we know about this kitchen. We never see the other side of it. Um, let's look at a hard line drawing of it. So it's maybe a little bit more clear. You got refrigerators, sink, dishwasher, oven, all that stuff. And now finally, let's get into an axonometric drawing of the house. This is probably the best way that we can look at the house in three dimensions right now. I've done a pencil drawing. I'm gonna use that to trace it on Adobe Illustrator.
Okay, so here is the complete arithmetic drawing. I might make this into a print, so keep an eye out for that. Uh, but let's go to a closing, let's have a couple comments, and we'll get back to this potential print. So there you guys go. That is the floor plans, elevations, and an axonometric drawing of the Edna Modes house, right? Next week, we're gonna model the, we're gonna model the exterior first. Let's model the exterior of the house. Um, I know what you're saying, you're thinking we just saw a three-dimensional drawing, how does that expire? We, we can, we will do more with the exterior of the house. We're gonna, we're gonna really model that thing up. So we can even 3D print it if we want. Um, if you want to see more of my axonometric drawings, because I do more of those drawings, I usually put those on Instagram, I'm going to try and do more of that in this channel. Um, so yeah. And let me know if you want a print of that drawing, I guess. We could make a, like a limited run of those prints if you guys want to make a print of it. Um, yeah, just leave a message saying, yeah, we'd love to see prints. We'd love to be able to buy prints. I'll try and make them affordable. Um, but yeah, so check in next week. We're going to do... We're going to start modeling up the house and do some renderings of the exterior. And then, depending on how long that takes, we either do the interior living room or if not, we'll make that another episode. But, yeah, see you guys next week. Hope you enjoyed it.